Hi, I'm Stephanie Erickson, clinical social worker and family caregiving expert. Now, what do you say to your loved one about COVID? Do you talk about all the risks associated with it? Do you share stories of individuals who have had complications? Explaining COVID to someone with dementia or a developmental disability can be really complicated because the information can be quickly forgotten or completely misconstrued. That's why it's important that you prepare in advance as to what you're going to say and be ready to answer any question that's thrown at you. In this situation, less is more. Stay basic and repeat the same information in the same way because that will increase the chances of retention. Now here are some main things to remember. One, stay calm. Your loved one will pick up on fear and stress, even if your words are positive, but the energy you're putting out there is negative. Two, reassurance is key. No matter what the risks are, it is important to let your loved one know that they are not alone and that they will be cared for. Three, limit access to news programs which discuss stats and negative results, since the person may not be able to understand and will only become scared and confused. Four, be careful using words that can be associated with other common illnesses, such as flu or cold or virus. This information can stick, and if there really is just a regular flu, a person can panic thinking they have contracted COVID. Five, after discussing COVID, try to move away from the topic and discuss happy memories or experiences so that the fear or confusion related to the illness doesn't stick in the person's mind creating lengthy agitation or worry. Six, integrate the recommended hygiene steps into your loved one's routine in a fun way, such as you know, singing a song every time you wash your hands or doing a little dance every time you put on or take off the mask. And this way you have some giggles associated with the hygiene steps.